Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends toy review on Marvel Legends War Machine. Um, I just saw the trailer to the new Iron Man, or the new trailer to Iron Man 2, and fuck, dude, I hope you guys all saw that. That shit was amazing. Um, I also want to say that this uh, review is sponsored by Big Bad Toy Store, so please click on the link right here and uh, visit Big, Big Bad Toy Store for all your expensive action figures. Um, yeah, this, uh, this figure right here is really badass. It's basically... Um, Pretty much the same exact thing as Series 1 Iron Man. Um, so you can see in comparison right here. They basically have the same mold. Um, but, you know, he does have a lot more stuff, you know. Uh, he's got this uh, shoulder, like this thing that, his crotch thingy and this uh, shoulder pad chest thing that comes over is a lot bigger and bulkier and everything. Uh, you can lift under and it still looks very similar. Um... You know, I'd have to say that it's more, uh, I think it's actually more based off of the Silver Centurion Iron Man, going by these shoulder blades, if you could look underneath. But this Silver Centurion Iron Man seems like it's based off the Series 1, you know what I mean? So it's like looking at the, uh, you know, kind of like how, it kind of ev the evolution of this, you know, of this war machine. So I want to say it started here, you know, went to here, and then... Now we got our war machine. Uh, there is another war machine out there. Um, that's the uh, face-off war machine. Uh, a lot, very, very basic in comparison. I actually don't own that war machine, but uh, I think this one's really amazing, and I have not felt the need to try to get another one. So um, the articulation is, um, it's you know, it's pretty good. Um, like I said, it's pretty much the same as the as the first one. He has a lot of accessories on him, so it kind of like restricts head movement, but you know, not really, because you want him looking in the same direction as, as where his guns are pointing. Um, so his head moves back and forth. Doesn't really move up, and now you can take this thingy off right here, this thing that shoots the missiles, and I'll show you all the accessories and everything in a minute. But this rotates back and forth, and you could pull it off. Uh, the head doesn't really move up and down, kind of a bummer. Uh, it does move side to side very well. Um, this Gatling gun thing right here, it actually rotates, so you could spin it like this, and these bullets, uh, actually come out right here, but I hot glue gunned it inside, because it comes out very, very easily. Um, and then, same thing as that thing on the other side, you could remove it like this, and it attaches to the back right here. This is cool, you can see the fan and everything. Very nice. Okay. Um, he does have these notches on his head that the Iron Man does not have, which is very cool. Uh, the faceplate comes off. You can see Jim Rhodes underneath. And there he goes. Okay. Um, the dude who made this actually put his face inside here. So you can see that. It's very cool. I would have done the same thing. I would put If I could put my face on a toy, I'd definitely do it. So that was very cool. Um, now, uh, what was I was going to say next. The, the shoulder joints. He does have these inside shoulder joints that move a little bit inside right here. You can see that moving. And he does have the ball joint on the shoulder, biceps twist, double double jointed elbows, uh, rotates right here where the glove ends, okay, you can see that. Wrist moves up and down, and the fingers clamp, okay. Uh, he's got these gun thingies right here that are pretty cool, I like that a lot. And that's on both sides, same thing on both sides. Um, he doesn't have like a, in, like a middle torso joint due to this big plastic thing right here. He does have a waist joint. Okay, that moves well, but it's a little on the flimsy side, very much like that Series 1 Iron Man, so I don't try to fuck with it too much. Uh, he does have uh, these leg joints that move, they're not ball joints on his legs, they move out sideways like that, and you can move them forward, okay? And on the top of the thigh, it swivels like that. Double jointed knees, calf joint rotates at the boot, uh, his ankle twist like that. Very, very, very helpful in posing. Uh, it moves fo moves forward and back, and he does have a toe joint. So very cool. Good amount of articulation. You know, not the most, but still very good nonetheless. Um, the paint job on him is pretty damn basic, but, you know, you don't really need a whole lot. It's like he's silver and he's black, and that's pretty much it. You know, that's all you need. There's actually, I think, more paint detailing in the accessories than there are in the, on the actual figure. I mean, this is just a straight-up, you know, regular silver. Now, on the Silver Centurion Iron Man, this actually does have more paint detailing. Um, you can see this kind of has more of like a, a dry wash, a, a dry brush kind of thing, dry wash, dry brush kind of thing going on. 
So there's, if you could compare the legs like that, you know, this is just a straight up silver and this kind of has black mixed in with the silver. Can you see it? If I can not drop the figure. So yeah, uh, the black is very cool. I mean, it's just straight up black. There's no real paint detailing. Some parts of it you could actually see kind of like these fine little like sparklies in it. I don't know if you get like a fine glitter. It's just how the plastic is. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, he's got this uh, silverish blue thing right here in the center. Very cool. You can see some silver right here. And that's about it. He's got his belt going on. Um, yeah. So that's so that's all it is for paint detailing. Not a whole lot. Um, now the accessories, which is really my favorite part of the figure. Um, he's got this right here that shoots these missiles. Very sick. These are have a metallic blue at the end, and you can see the the red flames coming out and the smoke, which has gray mixed in it and red in there. Very very cool. And it has these holes in the back, so you just attach it on the bottom. Now you could have it so that the longest one is all the way to the left or all the way to the right, either way. But you can't really set it up on the top rack. You have to put it at the bottom. So I kind of like to have it on on the outer side like that. I think that's cool. Put that right there. And you can, uh, I don't know why I'm, I'm fumbling this thing. Okay. So you put it like that and it rotates and everything. Okay. And the Gatling gun, which I believe is intended for, now he has all these different flame thingies right here. Okay. So you could pretty much set it up whatever you think works, but I believe this is the one that really works for the Gatling gun. And you shove it in there and like I said earlier, it spins. That's very cool. Um, now this part you could really change up any way you want. You could put this, you know, this thicker one in his hand. Now, this is cool how, I really like how these look, how they fade. It's got, like, a lot darker red at the tip, and it kind of curves at the very tip of this thing. That's just how he came out of package. So you could have it like that. Or you could use one of these ones, you know. One is a little thicker than the other. Um, so you could see the difference in size of these two flame thingies. Alright. Very cool paint on them. I like it very much. They're transparent, they're translucent, whatever. And you could fit that in the hand right there. So they, these can go on the hands or the feet. And the feet actually have two different peg holes, you know, on the on the toes and on the heel. So you could put, you know, you could put it on the heel, on the to toes right there, or you could put it on the heel if you want right there. Um, and same thing with this one too. It'll go either way. I actually prefer having these bigger burst. Um, these stronger burst ones on the feet. I don't know, it just makes more sense to me. Whoops. Yeah, so. Um, but that's pretty much it. Here, I'll just switch it out. Just, I prefer having it kind of on the heel, so it just makes more sense to me like that. So there he is with all his accessories. I think he's very badass. I think he's very, very cool. Now, for years, um, I've had him, I've used a display stand. As you know, the Galactus series did not have these clear stands. So I would just stick this thing straight up like that. Uh, you can't see it, but underneath the thingy right there. And just a second ago, I realized that War Machine has a fucking Kulo hole. Look at that. He's got, his, he got, he's got a Kulo. I had no idea. Check that out. So, I don't know, I mean, because these things didn't exist yet, so what I'm assuming is because he's War Machine, you know, a true War Machine would be able to shoot fire right out of his ass. Right? Eh? Eh? Alright. Anyway, so, this actually, this clear base stand does fit in his asshole, and he will stay. So, just gotta set it up right. Okay, I think I fucked up my stand. Anyway... Here, let's see if I can set it up right. Ah. Okay, it's not really doing what I want it to. But here, if I hold the bottom of the base, you can see. So it looks like a fucking mess, man. This review is kind of a mess, too. But look at that. Look at all those accessories and everything. That is fucking cool. So, yeah, with a little bit of tweaking and everything. And these things look really, really cool. You know, set up with other figures and stuff. So... Yeah, check it out, War Machine. The Iron Man, I think, that goes best with him is the modern Iron Man. I think these look really cool next to each other. I think that's the best way to go. All right, you guys.